do you suffer from this disease like I used to? And I have to admit, I still suffer from it a little bit, a little bit too much. Is it, it is all about knowing too much for your own good. And I suffer from this because I have an extraordinarily curious mind and I want to know everything. And on top of it, I'm a control freak, like a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of startups who are kind of control freaks. We want to control everything. We want to know everything that's going on and we want to know everything about everything, which is, as you can understand, impossible. We lose on our expertise because we spend too much time learning about things that we are not experts in or we don't want to be experts in at all. But we feel that we can hire the right person. And so we fear we're not going to find the right person for our business. And so we decide we're going to learn everything there is to know about that specific field. I'm currently coaching a lady who I love uh, her way of doing things to an extent because she's on the opposite extreme. And this lady basically um, doesn't want to know anything about anything apart from her expertise. So I don't want to know anything about website building. I don't want to know anything about funnels and emails and email strategies and email marketing. I don't want to know anything about Facebook advertising or Facebook posts or I don't want to know anything else than my expertise, which is fabulous. But the issue is that on the other hand, she's potentially not the best as at choosing the right person for her business because she doesn't know anything about anything. And when she hires, she completely delegates that part of her business uh, simply because she has no clue. But more than that, and that's what's the, the issue, is she doesn't care. She doesn't care about how it's done. Just do it. I don't care how. And the issue there is that you always, always, always have to care more than the people you hire because the people you hire are just hired. They're paid. They, they won't have the passion or uh, the, the vision or they won't be as excited as you can be about something. So you've got to get them excited and not just give them the hot potato and say, you know what, do whatever you want with it. I'm not excited of, uh, in, at all. Because the problem is all those components are part of you, are part of who you are out there in the world. And if you are flawed in any of those components, well, your whole machine will be flawed and will perish. So what to do then? The first thing is to, yes, start learning less about things we are not supposed to be an expert in. So I now, uh, I, I know enough to know that I don't want to know more about certain aspects of the business, but it's to be very, very good at hiring the great people. So either you have a manager that's really, really good at hiring the right people, or you yourself have to do due diligence and poke, poke until you cannot poke no more to be sure that that is the right person. Don't jump on someone just to fill a hole or in an emergency or because there's too many fires and you just want to hire people. So, so you get rid of the things you don't know how to do. You have to take time to hire the right person because it costs so much time and energy and money to hire and train. And if you hire and train the wrong person, you have to do it all over again and all over again. So it's best to hire people who have the same vision, who have the same, who see your mission, who see your vision, who have the same kind of values, your business values, your core values. Um, and of course, that way you at least have someone that's in the same kind of wavelength as you are, and then someone who is an expert, who is extremely proficient in that part that you need filled, that, 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 that job that you need done. And then you have to have quality control. You have to be there 
and see if the result is at the level you want it. And to know if the result is at the level you want it, you have to have a very clear definition of the expectation that you will transmit and translate to the person you're hiring. So you have to be clear. And for that, you have to take yourself out of the business to be able to have a clear view of the business as a whole and not be in the middle of it and just be confused and lost with all the dust, all the dust that you're moving up in the air. So I hope this works and I hope this helps. So stop reading all the books about all the things you're not supposed to be knowledgeable about, but be knowledgeable about what you want, the mission, the clarity, your goals, the vision, your core values, where you're heading, your marketing strategy, your planning, your um, long-term, short-term goals, and then hiring the right person in the right way. And then of course, being able to train them and, and just share that vision and get them excited to getting the results that you want. And then of course, you know, there's gonna be a few hiccups like there always are. And that's there where you learn the management leadership skills. So I hope you, uh, you took advantage of this video. Please share it with your friends and networks on LinkedIn, Facebook. Uh, and of course, put a little like, subscribe to my channel so you see all the great content that I'm creating just for you with all the energy and enthusiasm so that you get inspired and motivated to reach that million dollars and more in your business scale till you can scale no more. So I hope uh, I hear from you. Please leave comments or questions if you want me to make a specific video about something that you are currently having issues with. Or of course you can hire me because that's what I do best. I help businesses scale. I fix systems and processes so that businesses can grow efficiently and fast. All right, so I hope I hear from you. Have a great day.